Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. In an application where a frameless motor such as a KBM series is built into the machine, its feedback device can also be built into the machine and there is an opportunity for a non-standard orientation of the motor or the feedback. We must make sure that the motor and feedback are rotating in the proper direction for the application. Because a frameless motor can be mounted in different directions and on different sides of the feedback, it must first be established what is the reference point. In other words, which is clockwise and which is anti-clockwise rotation for the machine. Standard clockwise rotation is from the motor shaft's point of view. In a frameless motor, there is no motor shaft and the motor's orientation can change. If we start with the feedback device, we can wire it for clockwise rotation. When the machine is rotated clockwise, the position will count up. If it is counting down, swap A and A0 or B and B0 for a sine encoder or incremental encoder. For a resolver, swap sine and cosine. When the motor is wired correctly, the three phases of the motor will appear in series. Phase U will lead V. Phase V will lead W, and phase W will lead U. If the motor has been mounted on the opposite side of the machine from what would be called standard, swap phases U and W. Check the phases on the scope. One of the telltale signs that the feedback and motor are running in opposite directions from each other is the tendency for the motor to run away when disturbed. If the feedback, in this case, was set correctly, we would swap phases U and W and test again. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes in Motion. Join me in our next segment when we look at commutation alignment.